it, it, it's a lot of risk, right? It's not just a simple cutting in with check. And so what happens when it goes under or whatever happens? You're going to depend on wrestling or you're going to buy the shop and then we have a guaranteed security blanket for our family. You're there like 50 hours a week now anyways. Yeah, but that's but I the good thing with that is, is I'm not the one that has to flip any bills. I'm not don't have to worry about paying people, I don't have to worry about ordering stuff, I just show up there, I do my job, I go home, they give me the days off for yeah, wrestling. Yeah, you used to wrestling, you've been doing it. Yeah, but, you know. What have you gotten out of it? I could see if you were getting more money and the pay was good, then yeah, I wouldn't probably yeah. like have a problem with it. But just to throw wrestled. something that you've been doing for 10 years away, you know. We need the money. Yeah, but there's a lot more factors involved and then just buying this pizza shop. And I'm not even talking about the wrestling side of things, giving that up. I'm talking about the commitment that it's going to take and just that I don't want to take on more of a headache than it could be worth. We have a business. And if it, you know... Yeah, but why is he looking to get out of it if it's such a good business? You said personal reasons. I don't know. I didn't talk to him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but, they, but what you're not realizing is that shop can go under just as easily as I could get hurt going out there. I'd rather take a risk on the shop. Yeah, well... You're, you're just going to go work at a gas station, or this is real life. I'm not trying to put a show on for the cameras. You have to take risks. Life is about taking risks. And you have a family to think about. And I'm sorry, I know that you love wrestling, and like I appreciate that you've been so dedicated to it. But it's been ten years. You haven't gotten much out of it. I wouldn't say that. We have kids and college funds like to worry think, about. Like to think and at a, this and point, a vehicle to pay off. Doing. And other things that we have to worry about. Retirement funds. Right. That's not going to happen because of wrestling. You're only making so much money doing this. Oh, well, yeah. So how much higher up are you going to go in wrestling? You're not John Cena. I definitely been supportive. I would like to think that I've offered tons of support. Um, there was times where he decided he was going to leave and I definitely want something for us that is going to offer a solid income. It upsets me because we've been together for three years. I've been nothing but supportive and now is the time for him to make a decision. I do understand the financial risks about him buying the pizza shop, but life is taking risks, and if it fails, so be it. I'd rather try and fail than not try, and it possibly be a good thing that could be a good opportunity that we would just pass up for no reason, because, you know, we have a family on the way, and I don't want to chance anything, you know, financially strapping us to the point where, you know, we can't afford our house anymore or our vehicle. But life is about taking risks, and if you don't take risks, we'll never know. So that's my whole premise on him buying the pizza shop, is it could be a really good thing. Well, if it involves both of us, because last time I checked, it's not your name on the lease, it's not your reputation and name that's going to get drugged through the mud if this doesn't work out. It's not you that has to file for bankruptcy if this shop doesn't work out. Any issues with that shop are our responsibility to take care of. You know what I mean? You come home to have a discussion with me and you're going to get mad at me. No, I, I came home to have a discussion with you. Not feel like you're putting me in a position and making the mind up for the both of us. Okay? But there's more than two of us. Right. There's four of us now. Right. So you need to make a decision. Right. Venture into something that we don't know if it's going to succeed in six months. Are you like going to live life like that, not taking risks? And up, I said, I'm just going to up and leave. So.